Hi guys! So today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and do something completely different that I've never done before which is a hair video. Firstly, you have to excuse my voice because I am really sick. I've been really, really ill for the past couple of weeks and it doesn't seem to want to go away and I really just wanted to get this video out there and done. So yeah you have to listen to my very sick voice <laughs> for a while so yeah anyway a couple of months ago I had a uh, faux dreads in my hair that I put in by myself and yeah I did record it but me being me and me and my never-ending technical difficulties somehow the initial video the installation video that I had deleted itself from my camera or just won't upload to my computer I don't know so I'm redoing that now I still have my takedown video that I recorded when I took the hair out so that will be in the second half of the video and this is just a demonstration on how I installed the fur dreads at, in the beginning so yeah I'm just redoing that because I really wanted to get this video done it was the first time I ever did fur dreads and I was so excited sorry that was my phone <laughs> <laughs> that's a way um, yeah it was the first time I've ever done it and I really wanted to redo it put something different on my channel which is a hair tutorial so I hope you guys like it um, excuse my voice I am really ill today I've been ill for the past couple of weeks and it's just that kind of illness that won't go away um, so I do have a really croaky voice and a blocked nose and <clears throat> I'm sounding so weird anyway let me stop talking and we'll move on to the hair video okay Stay watching.
there it is. That's the tutorial or how I do my faux dreads. Um, this one's actually a little bit short. I cut this one shorter than I normally would when I do the style. The one time I did do the style. One thing I just wanted to add quickly was at the end, after you've twisted it all back up, get a lighter. Burn it at the ends and then all the way to the newly twisted bit and then roll it. I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video because, you know, I could reuse this hair. But just grab your lighter, literally just all along there, roll it in, roll it tight and on the ends especially and then you have your dread. Um, I use the technique of braiding over the dread rather than using the dread to braid with the hair like I've seen with a lot of videos. One, because it gives it a lot of flexibility. I know that um, when you, you know, when you braid the dread into the hair, it kind of leaves it stiff at the root. It, it doesn't put a lot of pressure at the root, which happens a lot because the hair is really heavy. It does get really heavy. And yeah, that's it. So stay tuned for the takedown. It's takedown day. I'm taking my dreads out finally after like nine or ten weeks. I'm really sorry like I didn't get to film or take pictures of my hair like straight after I did it and it pretty much looked like this anyway. What happened was on the day I was really pressed for time because I had the whole week off uni and I was like okay I'll do my hair and I actually started it on Wednesday and I didn't finish it until Friday and I'd spent pretty much the whole week doing my hair instead of reading my books and, and uh, getting ready for essays and all of that that I really needed to do and because I had an essay due in the next week I just I literally as soon as I finished doing the last dread I ran straight to uni I didn't even think twice about taking pictures or taking videos or anything so yeah I do apologize because I don't have any footage of how my hair looks straight after it was done um, I'd say that after over two months it's done well to hold up like this um I mean you know it was my first time doing my dreads and yeah I mean it's not terrible I'll just show you the back as well this is what it looks like in the back and yeah so today I'm taking it down um, I just wanted to talk about there's one dread here basically over time if you don't do it right some of your dreads will unravel so this one here started unraveling at the top like that and it was going all the way down that is not good so I don't know if this happens to anybody what I kind of did is just shift it back up I've been doing this for the past two weeks just because I I really didn't have time to um, to just to keep it basically I'm gonna talk really really quickly because my battery is about to run out so basically what I'm gonna do is just take down the hair um, I'm gonna take down it like this much and then I'll come back after I charge the battery and then take out another section so you can see how it's all done okay bye okay so I'm back now with my charged camera it's telling me that the battery's full so let's hope it is so I've just taken like a section out in the back like that if you can see um, <laughs> and it looks really silly just like sticking out there I wanted to leave the front just so I could show you um, like straight on how I do that let's see I'll do like this section and these two down here
so there you have it that is my how to on the faux dread tutorial I'm just trying to think of anything else I can add remember to burn the ends here I didn't do it because this isn't going to stay for long this is just you know to show how I did it previously but don't forget to do that make sure that your hair is washed and conditioned beforehand preferably like a day or two later so that it gives your scalp a time to breathe because as I said this is really heavy and it does put a lot of pressure on the scalp initially after you you get used to it properly um, aside from that I can't really think of anything else if anyone has any questions or queries or anything comment below and I'll be sure to answer them if not then great I hope I've done my job and and shown you how I do my own photo ads if you like the video let me know hit the like button comment tell me what you like tell me what you didn't like if there's anything you didn't like and I'll work on that in the future because I am hoping to do more hair videos or hair tutorials or rather just how I do my hair in general just because I change my hair like every month so it would be cool to record it and kind of help other people on their hair journey or people with the same hair texture as me so that would be really cool let me know in the comment section and share it obviously share it with all your friends I hope to see a lot more faux dreads on the streets I will be back to my regular vlogging in August when I go to Brazil I'm going to Brazil to volunteer as an English teacher in a favela so <laughs> I will definitely be uploading a lot of videos all throughout August about my time in Brazil. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.